Hi everybody, Wonia Thibault here with Buckskin Revolution and I wanted to share some things that you can do for yourself to help keep yourself safe from the coronavirus if the supplies that we're all being told to depend upon run out in your area or if you aren't able to get out of your house to access them. So. This requires, of course, having some of these things on hand, but also you can often mail order some of these things. So obviously washing your hands is super important right now. However, if you are out and you don't have access to soap and water to wash your hands thoroughly, hand sanitizer is your next best bet and we're advised to have that on hand. But if it's sold out, or you can't get it, you can make your own at home and often it's gonna be better for you than some of those ones that are gonna have, you know, a lot of fragrances and a lot of colors and weird ingredients that are gonna be hard on your skin and we wanna nourish ourselves and keep ourselves as well as possible. So, simple recipe using just aloe vera gel and alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and some essential oil. So this recipe comes from Dr. Rishi Desai, who worked for the CDC in the Department of Viral Disease for some time. So their recipe is using isopropyl alcohol, 91% or stronger, and aloe vera gel, pure aloe vera gel, and then an essential oil of your choosing, one of the stronger ones with antimicrobial properties. My favorite these days is called Thieves Blend, or available under other names that are similar. This one is technically Robber's Relief. Um, but I just put out another video about this. It is an antimicrobial, specifically antiviral blend of essential oils that is reputed to have been used by thieves who were looting plague victims and they never got sick. So good recommendation. Um, who knows whether or not that's true, but certainly essential oils have a lot of wonderful properties for us. So the recipe is three quarters of a cup of isopropyl alcohol to one quarter cup of aloe vera gel to 10 drops of an essential oil. And then you're going to mix that ideally in a glass container because metal containers can react particularly with the essential oils and make them less effective. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and put that in some small containers so you can keep one in your pocket when you are out and about, or say if you've gone to check your mail and you're not sure if that paper maybe could harbor some of the virus. Paper is one of those things that harbors it for the longest. Reports are up to four days on paper. So anytime you touch something, come back, wash your hands in soap and water, and if not, use some hand sanitizer. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. three quarters cup alcohol, quarter cup aloe vera gel, and robber's relief based on thieves blend essential oil. This is a blend of uh, clove, lemon, eucalyptus, cinnamon, and rosemary. And then we're gonna stir this really well. And then I've got a couple of small jars you can pour that into. Sometimes it's helpful to have recipes with specific measurements like this, but if you don't have as much as that calls for, you can also do it in terms of parts. So that would look like three parts of the rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, to one part aloe vera gel to however many drops seem appropriate of the essential oil. So more or less than 10, depending on if you're doing more or less than a quarter cup as a part. So to use it, you're gonna put a little bit in your palm and then you're going to very thoroughly spread it around every surface of your hands, taking a lot of care with all of the spaces between your fingers and your fingertips and up and under your fingernails. So not only has the aloe vera actually moisturized and helped my skin feel better, but my hands smell absolutely delicious. Just don't go licking them. Not your own hands, I mean, not my hands. Obviously, also, don't go licking my hands. Thanks, everyone. Just wanted to mention, too, that I am doing everything I can to empower people with lots of good knowledge, to feel good and safe and healthy and strong, and I would love your support. Check out my website, Buckskin Revolution, for more 
great resources and also some products you can buy to help support me. Also subscribe to my channel and consider supporting me on Patreon, which is where most of my funding to do all of these videos is coming from. I don't yet have a booming channel, so I'm not getting income from these videos unless folks are supporting me on Patreon. So thank you so much, everyone. Be well.